Hi there, it's Benjamin here from Domus. I'm with Tom and Georgia to have a chat about their new venture. So guys, what made you choose this place? What's your background? Uh, well, we're involved with essentially creating a brand. Um, it didn't start off that way. We started off with a pub, uh, Shave Cross Inn out in Marshwood. And then we realized that the story of Shave Cross, its origins and everything is such a bizarre, lovely story. And we've got such a quirky thing going and we thought we'd capitalize on the brand of it. So then we took the brand to Lan Regis and we added our Shave Cross Cellar, which pays homage to Cellar 59, which is brewery led tap room. And mm -hmm. we combined it with our business and now it's Shave Cross Cellar. Fantastic. And we went on from there. <laughs> and um, it's all about connections and, and what the local community wants or what they once had and they want to bring back. And that's what happened with the Taverna. It used to be called Antonio Trattoria. Mm -hmm. Georgia actually used to work there when she was a teenager. So that's a local Italian that's been yeah. around for a long time. 27 years. 27 a little years. while, yeah. And they, uh, they always said to Georgia, if we're ever in the position of selling, we'll come to you first. Georgia was very excited by that. She said that to me when we first got together. And I was like, yeah, sure. Of course. Yeah, it will happen. I'm sure it will happen. And then like probably a year and a half ago, <laughs> we got a text message. It was like, Tom. I was like, oh, yeah, I guess we're doing that one <laughs> I guess too. we're doing that one as well. So we expanded to Shave Cross Taverna and it just capitalized on the brand. And then um, obviously then we make, we, we've got a partnership where we make beer and everything and we, we distribute and sell all the Guile 59's beer. And we make our own sauces and our jams, and our own cakes and everything that everybody always compliments on. And we just thought, well, why not take it further? And actually sell those to people because people are always asking us like if they could take their sources home with them so I'm like okay I, oh. I can vouch for your sources <laughs> <laughs> they are absolutely fantastic multiple times multiple times, <laughs> multiple times yeah so what's your plan for this place going forward then this new venture yeah. hmm. Better let talk. <laughs> so uh, for this place we are doing our jams and sauces and beer so uh, Gal 59 beer here uh, so it'll be our farm shop where we'll sell our lovely condiment sauces, cakes, donuts, pizza, beer, and the list goes on. God. And then downstairs, custard ice cream. Custard ice cream. Custard well. ice cream. That's, a, that's a new one, yeah. <laughs> and waffles, of course. Uh, the list goes on, really. Um, and then downstairs will be our cinema, 20 seats. So it's a very small cinema. Uh, however, we feel that Lime Regis needs So what can people look forward to when they're coming here? Uh, they can look forward to having a movie night here uh, for their friends, for family, um, and also sitting down and enjoying our pizzas, our desserts, cocktails. I will definitely be enjoying yeah. a cinema and cocktails in our own place. <laughs> I'll be definitely coming down. I mean, that's kind of my perfect night. <laughs> I, really you in. I was about to say, yeah, just I'll reserve a seat. So if you guys want to come down, eat, drink, and be merry in a place with a fantastic atmosphere and something that has Lime has needed for a little while now. Come on down to the, the opening, hopefully soon. Um, we'll keep you posted on that side of things. Um, I'll look to do a, hopefully a grand opening video later on. Um, but for the farm shop and the cinema, I can't wait for it to, to be a <laughs> Domus covering West Dorset, Lime Regis, Bridport, Chiddock, Charmouth, and everywhere else in between. Have a lovely day.